Hello, Casimir. Welcome to another Nods Goes to Every Convention Ever, and this is a pre-con event at Ziggy's Funland for Ramen Con. It's going to be coming up in a month, I believe, September 19th. Um, it's going to be near Route 30 and 65, if you guys, or Highway 65, if you guys know where that is in Indiana, or a good idea where it's going to be. Um, before I get into anything, I should let you know if you have seen your picture or if I took your picture, there's a link in the description to an imager account. Go ahead and take that and take your pictures and do whatever you want with them. Boop, they're, they're your pictures. <laughs> okay, so this is actually my first time coming to this place. It actually had a ton of arcade games just crammed in every corner possible. Um, I didn't get all the pictures of the arcade because I had so much footage and you know, I didn't want to ramble on and show you pictures. but. Tons and tons of uh, arcade stuff, and of course, you're seeing all the different attractions they had, such as you know, batting cages, go karts, uh, laser tag, golf, all those things you would expect from a fun land. So, pretty awesome, uh, especially for the deals that they're having. It was a, a couple ten dollar deals, you get uh, a pretty good value, which is awesome for cosplayers. You know, sometimes for group and event events, it's hard to get together and get a place where you know you're. You're not going to get in trouble, or you know, it's going to be awkward. But the, the the managers and the owners were really cool, and even offering um, packages just so that we could hang out and have a good place to have fun. And for ten bucks or twenty bucks or whatever this you want, I'm not going to argue because uh, a lot more places could be easily more expensive. <laughs> and for um, just to spend a little time with your friends, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Um, and I'm probably going to go to a few more of these, uh, maybe one or two more in the next year. We'll see how it goes. I think he said um, he's going to try and space them out. He's working out scheduling things. And uh, maybe was it Chris Al might have an interview with the con chair in a couple weeks. We'll see how it goes, too. Yes! <laughs> so aside from you and your typical convention get-togethers of hanging out and doing things with friends, because, you know, there's like 40 of us there. It's really easy to get to know people if you just kind of sit down and do something with them. Um, there's a couple of people did uh, golf together. A couple of people, you know, did the uh, different attractions together, and tons and tons of tickets. There's a couple of people who got jackpots over and over again, and I believe that uh, there's even one someone savvy enough to save their tickets for the Monday, where they're worth double. <laughs> so, pretty smart on them. Uh, one thing that was pretty cool is uh, there was a murder mystery, and there's a couple other like hosted events. Um, and he even, uh, just for showing up, gave you a ticket to win some con swag. And uh, one of the other people going there actually donated a DVD of the Wolf Children anime movie that is newish. If you guys know about that, that was pretty cool of them to kind of give that out. Um, otherwise, he was giving out, was it on water bottles and t-shirts? And guess what, guys? I was lucky I got a t-shirt, as I'll show you in the footage. <laughs> oh, man. So super fun hanging out with friends. I, I got to meet a whole bunch of people from the area that I didn't necessarily know. So I got to meet the new people and kind of hang out with them and get pictures. Yes, and of course if you want your pictures, take them. <laughs> um, oh well, but I got my t-shirts and I'm happy. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it actually. still in its uh, role that I got it in. But uh, immediately after that, it was uh, past 6 o'clock, which was the scheduled time for it to end. Um, we went and did some laser tag, and the uh, staff were pretty good about doing demonstrations and explaining what was going on in the game modes. Um, I actually spent quite a bit of time helping people out and to make sure everything was clear and everyone was safe. You know, you know those, those little things that make you know running through cardboard defenses kind of important. <laughs> so I was really actually happy with the way they conducted themselves there. And then after that, I think we had a uh, six-on-six battle, which was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy the footage of that. I hope you guys look cool doing what you're doing. But unfortunately, all my batteries ran out of power, so um, yeah, I'm probably going to need some new batteries because they're not doing so well these days. Um, so if you're in the Indian area and you want to go to um, Ziggy's Funland, or you're going to go to Ramakan, I encourage you to do so, especially Ramakan, because I'm going to be there, and we get to hang out, and I can like, say hello, do stuff. But uh, I'll see you guys around, see you at the next event, good times to all. Hey, Casper World, before I finish up this video, I want to say thanks for everyone who likes and subscribes. But uh, the people who comment, you guys have a special place in my heart. It uh, really does keep me motivated. I don't know, um, I do try to talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, but maybe uh, someday I'll have enough uh, questions and so on to do like a regular Monday uh, Q&A session like I used to. But 
Uh, for now, I just try and spread the information and love I have for all you cosplayers out there. I don't know if um, you know someone who needs help, if you see someone who uh, could use a heads up and uh, maybe is new to the cosplay community, maybe hasn't seen some of these kind of informational videos, let them know. Uh, it really helps me out. Um, I'm going to go make more vids, have some fun, make some stuff, do cosplay things. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Good times to all.